You're watching my weekly live plant-based cooking class. Today I have not one recipe, but two recipes to cook for you guys live. And if you want to cook along with us, you can get the recipes at beginnercooking.com. But in addition to those recipes, we're also going to be playing a pumpkin trivia game at the end of this class, so don't go anywhere. And I have another special treat for you guys. I'm going to be sharing a bunch of different things that you can do with your leftover pumpkins from Halloween. So we have four special things happening in this class today. Two recipes, a pumpkin trivia game, and a ton of things that you can do with your leftover pumpkins from Halloween. All right, are you guys excited? You wanna get started? Our first recipe that we're gonna be making today is a raw spiced carrot salad. Now, I know that you guys know that having some raw recipes in your diet is really, really beneficial, but it's hard to find raw recipes that taste really good. So whenever I discover one, I absolutely jump to sharing that with you guys. So today's raw spiced carrot salad recipe is so tasty, so delicious, and I promise you're going to love it, and you're not gonna even care that you're eating raw carrots because it tastes that good. Now, the other recipe we're making today is is roasted spiced pumpkin seeds. Yes, now you can use store-bought pumpkin seeds or you can use the pumpkin seeds straight out of your pumpkins. Both will work, all right guys? And um, let me show you the recipes and what you need so you can cook along with us live. If you want to, just go to beginnercooking.com, click on easy recipes and you'll see this is the, uh, the carrot, um, the, the spiced raw carrot salad recipe right here. If you wanna take a quick look, this is straight off of my vlog. All right guys, so all you need is a couple carrots. Um, I'd say about three large carrots, or if your carrots are tinier, I about five then, okay? Uh, you need one apple, um, some raisins, some freshly squeezed lemon juice, some uh, a garlic clove, some cumin, paprika, cinnamon, cayenne pepper, some olive oil, fresh cilantro, black pepper, and pistachio nuts or whatever nuts you have in your house, all right? That's all you need to make our first recipe, the raw spice carrot salad. Now, to make our second recipe of the day, which is the roasted spiced pumpkin seeds, which is right here also on my recipe blog. All you need for that recipe are your raw pumpkin seeds, either store-bought or from inside your pumpkin, and I'll show you uh, how exactly to use the pumpkin seeds from inside your pumpkin and how to get them out of there um, later in the class, so don't go anywhere. And uh, all you need for that recipe are, uh, again, is your pumpkin seeds, the cinnamon, the ground ginger, ground nutmeg, chili powder, maple syrup, and coconut oil. All right, guys, if you you are ready to get started. Um, uh, I'm ready to get started. And uh, again, happy Halloween. I hope everyone had a fabulous Halloween weekend. I'm just trying to pull it back up on the screen. Okay. Um, I know that this was a quarantine Halloween, but I want to know if you guys still did anything. Comment in the chats right now if you guys did anything fun for Halloween weekends because it still feels like Halloween to me um, because it's only November 1st, right? Halloween just happened last night. So I want to know, did you guys dress up? Did you go anywhere? Put, if you wore any fun costumes yesterday, put that in the chat while I quickly go and say hi to some of you guys. Check out who's here. Christian is here. Hi, Christian. Karen Kelly is here. Hi, Karen. Tita and Papa are here. Hello. Mwah. Hello, Tita and Papa. Hi, Jane Wright. Jane Wright is here. Ricky Corcoran. What up, Ricky Corcoran? Hi, Corey. What's going on, guys? Alina Silva's back. Yay. Hi, Alina. I know you had fun for Halloween, Alina. Huh? Why don't you tell everyone what you did for Halloween? She spent it on a yacht. That's right, a yacht in Miami. That's one way to spend Halloween, right? Sharon said she watched a scary movie. Sharon, what scary movie did you watch? Uh, Juan Luis Marillo is here from Spain. Hello, how are you, sweetheart? We have uh, XY Oig is here. The Gons is here. Jay Belden, Absent the First Day. Cajun Girl, Lillian, Bank Casino. Hello, everybody. All right, if you guys just tuned in, you're watching my weekly live plant-based cooking class. I do this every single Sunday, same place, same time, at 4 p.m. Eastern time at facebook.com slash Cheryl.tv. And if you want to get a reminder before we go live, 
You can do that by just going to rsvp.beginnercooking.com, pop in your email, and we'll send you a reminder 24 hours before. All right, guys? So um, we're going to get started with the recipe. Uh, oh, Sharon said the movie she saw, the scary movie The scary movie was called Ellie. Ellie, was that good? I watched a scary movie last night, too, called um, Midsommar. I don't know if you guys know about that one, but that one was really, really crazy. <laughs> Um, Ricky says, working on CPU stuff at home and played some Call of Duty. Sharon also made some jack-o'-lanterns. Awesome, Sharon. I want to see a picture. Post a picture of your jack-o'-lanterns in the comments. <laughs> Nick9164, what's going on? Pedrino Chico, what's going on? All right, guys, let's get started with the first recipe because I have so much, so many fun things that we're gonna be doing in today's class. So today's class is extra special. I don't know why I'm doing so much more than usual. I don't know, I guess I'm just still off my Halloween high, but I wanted to make today's class really fun. So it's action packed with a bunch of things that we're doing today, way more than usual. So don't go anywhere, all right? So if you want to figure out how to love raw some raw recipes some you know i know you guys have heard of the whole raw vegan movement now i'm not trying to be a raw vegan but i do understand the benefits of it so i when i when when i can i try to throw in a couple raw recipes here and there right so that's what's so amazing about this carrot salad the spiced carrot salad now um, the first thing you're gonna need is your carrots. Now you guys know, I've told you before how to wash your carrots and your veggies. You should get one of these kind of scrub brush things that I love, okay? You can get these on Amazon. This is like five bucks. You um, spray your veggies with a little bit of vinegar, let it sit for a second, and then scrub it off with water with one of these, all right? Highly recommend. All right, so here we have the carrots. Again, about three to five carrots. My robot says about 400 to 500 grams, okay? If your carrots are really big, three is fine. If they're small put do five all right don't worry about exact measurements okay karen says love your pretty top thank you karen hi j4 experience hi uh nika say producer what's up insta addicted vegan turners here hey guys hi chris mori all right guys the first step of this recipe is to add your carrots so i'm using my robot chef but you guys can use your food chopper your food processor or if you really really wanted to you could chop this by hand but that's going to be a lot of work and i don't recommend it so you definitely want a food chopper or food processor or my tm6 robot here which you can find out more info on my site just go to robot.veganercooking.com all right guys so after we add the carrots i click next and the next step is to add an apple okay red apple green apple it doesn't matter just whatever apple you have will work all right guys i'm gonna pop in the apple Ooh. all right i click next the next step is to add 25 grams of raisins so pick up some seedless organic raisins all right it makes the recipe taste really good so don't skip this part all right, so 25 grams, and he's weighing it for me. If you wanna put a little extra, that's fine. I usually put a little bit extra because I really like the way the raisin tastes in this recipe, but again, you know, you have full creative control when you're in the kitchen, so feel free to experiment on recipes where, where it's easier to experiment, like this one, where you know by adding a little extra raisins, they can't mess it up, right? It's not like it's a spice where if you overdo the spice, it'll be too powerful or something, right? Hi, Drew Rakowski is here. Is this a cat-friendly recipe? Absolutely, Drew, although it might be a little bit on the spicy side. <laughs> Does your cat like carrots? <laughs> Hi, MZ Gunner. Hi, Gary Crew. Hi, user 7RDNT. All right, guys, so after the raisins, we click next, and the next step is to add your freshly squeezed lemon juice. So you're gonna wanna pick up one of these lemon lime squeezer things that I also got on Amazon. This comes, re comes in really handy for um, squeezing fresh lemon juice so you don't have to do it by hand, right? Super helpful. So you pop in one of these, and there you go. Squeeze the juice squeezes right out. Do you see that? You see that? Yeah, super easy. There you go. Okay, so that is right about the amount, a half a lemon. So my robot is saying 15 grams, which is around half a lemon. So again, don't worry about measuring 15 grams of lemon juice. Just squeeze half a lemon's worth of lemon. All right, guys? So the next step is to add a garlic clove. Here I have one freshly peeled clove of garlic. And the next step is to add some ground cumin. Now, before I put the spices, I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like so far, okay? If you just tuned in, we're making a spiced 
carrot salad recipe. And uh, so far we have the carrots, the apples, the lemon juice, the raisins, and the garlic cloves in here so far, all right guys? And I'm using my TM6 robot, but you can absolutely use a food chopper or a food processor as well, all right guys? Just make sure it's pretty big. Um, Sharon says your, her jack-o'-lantern pictures won't post. That's okay. You can you can send them to me later by DM or something. Clixius Camillo is here. Hello, Nevis. How are you? Did you have a fun Halloween weekend, Nevis? What did you do? Marie is here too. Hey, Marie. What did you do for Halloween? Guys, we're in the middle of making our spiced carrot salad recipe. If you want to cook along with this live, you can get that the recipe details at beginnercooking.com. All right? It's right there on the blog. One of the most recent posts, so you can't miss it. Hi, Allie and Pix. What's going on? Hi, Extension. All right, so ground cumin. So the next step is about adding the spices. Now, today's theme is, is, is spicy, spice, 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 right? Because that's what makes this stuff taste so good. All right, guys, it's really important that you really get familiar with all of the amazing different spices that exist. And that's how we're gonna make this raw carrot recipe taste so good. It's all about the spices. So we're gonna do half a teaspoon of ground cumin. All right, guys, so get out your measuring spoons. Get out your spices. Here we have some cumin right here. And we're gonna pop in half a teaspoon of that, all right? There we go. Put that aside, I click next. And the next step is to add um, some paprika. You guys know I love paprika. Paprika, there's sweet paprika, there's smoked paprika. Paprika is my jam. Um, if you're looking to make uh, carrots or mushrooms taste like bacon, pick up some smoked paprika. That's a little trick secret for that, okay? All right, guys, so we are doing a half a teaspoon of paprika, all right? Marie says, I made nice spooky videos. Awesome, Marie. I want to see those videos. Okay, so half a teaspoon of paprika. All right, guys, who's cooking along with this live? Who's just hanging out and watching? And guys, don't go anywhere because we are going to be doing a fun pumpkin trivia game later. I promise it's going to be really fun and educational, of course. And, uh, and we're also going to be sharing a bunch of fun recipes that you could uh, make with your leftover pumpkins from Halloween. So we have a lot of fun stuff in store today. So don't go anywhere. I'm also going to, going to be announcing the winner of my inspiration earrings last week. Remember the, um, the, uh, the grapefruit earrings I wore last week? I'm going to be announcing the winner of those later. So don't go anywhere. And um, uh, Lucci's here too. Hello, Lucci's tuning in from the Dominican Republic. Yay. Thanks for being here, Lucci. Mr. Jones, where are you tuning in from, Mr. Jones? All right, so just a pinch of cayenne pepper because you guys know that cayenne pepper is strong, right? So we're just gonna do a teeny tiny pinch of that. Those of you guys that just tuned in, we're making a raw spiced carrot salad, yes. Who knew raw carrots could taste this good, this good until this recipe? I promise if you didn't think you could like carrots raw, you're gonna love it raw in this recipe. And it's all about the spices. The combination of spices is what makes the raw salad taste so good. I promise you, okay? You can quote me on that. You're gonna love it. All right, the next step is to add 10 grams of olive oil. So here we go. Again, my TM6 is weighing it for me. I love him for that. 10 grams is right about there, okay. If you guys wanna learn more about my robot, I'm doing free demos and I have promo codes. You can find out more about that at robot.veganercooking.com. All right, the next step is to add five to 10 sprigs of coriander. Now, do you guys know that coriander is actually just cilantro? It's the same thing. So if you see that word and you're not really sure, it's the same thing, okay? So fresh coriander is cilantro. All right, here we go, popping that in, yes. Now, I love cilantro, so I put a lot, but feel free to put however much cilantro you want, all right? So again, let's take a look at this. It's getting real, it's getting big in here, right? We got all the spices, the carrots, the apples, the raisins, the garlic, the le fresh lemon juice, olive oil. It's looking yummy in this bowl, I'll tell you that. Nieve says, I love your sweater and the food you're making today. Yay, thank you so much. Wait till you see um, the, uh, the next recipe we're gonna be doing after this. Don't go anywhere. I think you're gonna like that one too. 
Kevin Jones, what's going on? Marie says, nice watermelon earrings. Yep, Marie. Marie's watermelon earrings should be arriving any day now. I can't wait for you to get your inspiration earrings. Uh, she says, I love coinder and cilantro. Yes, yes. Okay, so the next step, my robot saying is to add a little bit of salt, but you guys know I skip the sodium whenever possible. Um, so I'm gonna just click next. We don't need that. There's so many spices and so much stuff going on here that you don't need the salt, all right, guys? The next step is a pinch of freshly ground black pepper. You guys, we're almost done with this recipe already. We're almost done. It requires no cooking. Why? Because it's a raw vegan recipe. Yes, all right. The next step is to add 20 grams of pistachio nuts, all right? If you guys have a nut allergy, you can skip this step. It's totally fine. Or if you don't have pistachios in your house, you can use walnuts, you can use almonds, you can use pecans. Any nut will taste amazing in this, but pistachios I love. So here we go with pistachios for today. My robots is 20 grams. I love pistachios. I'm gonna put a little extra in there. Feel free to do you however you like it. If you love them nuts, add some more nuts, all right? Even add different kinds of nuts if you want, all at the same time. I don't care. All right, guys, that's it. We are ready to chop up this salad and it's done, ready to be devoured. I'll give you one last quick peek, all right? All right, you ready to see the magic that's about to happen? This is going to turn in, into a salad in a matter of seconds, thanks to my TM6 robot, my baby over here. Uh, if you're using your own food chopper or food processor, it might take a little bit longer. You wanna keep on chopping till you get the consistency that I'm about to show you that my robot's gonna do in a matter of five seconds, all right, guys? So I'm gonna turn the knob to speed five, and in five seconds done just like that wait till you guys see how quickly we have our gorgeous spiced carrot salad recipe and that's why we're doing two recipes today guys because this is just too quick I got had to hook you up with something else too right you see that you see that Mmm, it smells so good too. A raw spiced carrot salad recipe that is, I promise you're going to love, you're gonna devour this, okay? You're not gonna care that it's a raw vegan recipe because it tastes so good. And you know what else is so great about this recipe? Is that if you are a new vegan and you're wondering what to bring to a Thanksgiving party, this is perfect because it's an amazing appetizer. It's a salad that probably no one else will think of that many people haven't heard of or tried and they'll be so shocked to be like, wow, this is amazing. How did you make this? And it's so quick, it's so easy. It doesn't take a lot of time or a lot of prep work. So it's an easy recipe for you to bring to a Thanksgiving party, right? And it's healthy and everyone's gonna love it, right? So I highly recommend this for that if you're wondering what to bring that's like easy that you can just pop in the fridge because this will last three days in the fridge guys all right so if you if you want to make this and eat it right now which i'm going to do as soon as this class is over you can do that or you can pop it in your fridge for up to three days and store this and eat this later okay guys all right so i'm going to pour a little bit in a bowl just so you guys can see it a little bit more closely and then we're gonna move right along to our next recipe. So if you guys have any questions about the raw spiced carrot salad recipe, let me know before we move right along to what's next. And again, you guys can get the recipe details at beginnercooking.com so you can make this anytime you want. So here we are pouring this, uh, well not pouring, but you know, serving the carrot salad. So you guys, if I can show it to you what it looks like in this pretty clear bowl right now so you can get a better peek at this recipe. Yeah, see? Doesn't this look like fall in a bowl? This looks like fall in a bowl right here. It really does, yes. Barry Sanders is here, what's up, Barry? Marie says, wow, nice for the season. Yes, absolutely, you look very autumn color coordinated. Well, I tried, I tried, right? I'm trying to fit in the whole pumpkin fall theme. It is November 1st, right? Kevin Jones says, nice, yes, this is our raw spice carrot salad recipe. This is going to be the best tasting raw carrots that, you, carrots that you've ever had in your life. I promise, if you don't believe me, you gotta go try it and then come back to me and I'll say I told you so, all right? So there we go. Recipe number one is done. And again, you guys can get 
this recipe right on my blog, beginnercooking.com. Everything, all the details are right here on the blog. All right, guys, beginnercooking.com. Just click on easy recipes. I post the recipe that we're gonna be making live a few days prior to each cooking class. So a couple days before next Sunday, go to the site and check out and see what our next recipe is gonna be. So you can grab the ingredients and cook along with us live if you want, all right? So I'm gonna put this aside and then we're gonna move right along to the next recipe. So the next one is our, is our uh, spiced pumpkin seeds. Now what's so cool about this recipe is that you can make this with the pumpkin seeds from your actual Halloween pumpkins. You don't have to go out and buy store-bought pumpkin seeds if you don't want to, but of course you could absolutely make them with store-bought pumpkin seeds as well, all right guys? So either or, same recipe, same situation, um, the choice is yours. But the reason why why I say to, um, to use the actual pumpkin seeds from inside your pumpkin is because when you eat the shell in addition to the seed inside, um, you're getting extra fiber. And there are so many health benefits for having added fiber in your diet that um, that's why you might as well just eat the shell too, especially when we're about to make it taste this good with all of the spices, yes. So um, go ahead and um, and uh, cut open your pumpkins, all right? After you cut open your pumpkins, you're going to scoop out the pumpkin seeds. And let me show you a little before and after so you get an idea, okay? This is the pumpkin that I used. You can see there was a ton of seeds in here, as you can see that I got, all right? Ton of seeds. Um, so when you cut that open, you're gonna need a very, very fancy, really sharp knife to cut this yourself. Please be very, very, very careful cutting, opening, opening your pumpkins. Um, and then you're gonna scoop out your seeds into a bowl and you're gonna cover that bowl, well, fill that bowl with water, okay? After you fill that bowl with water, um, if you give it a light stir and let it sit for a few minutes, the pulp will actually sink to the bottom and the seeds will float on top, making it that much easier for you to separate the pulp from your seeds because the water kind of just does that for you, which is a really cool tip that I learned from my TM6 robot. He actually told me that tip, which was really sweet of him. Yes, yes, he hooks me up with tips all the time. So um, yeah, so again, there's your pumpkin. You're gonna scoop out the seeds. You're gonna fill a bowl with water. You're gonna let it sit for a couple minutes and then the seeds will float to the top. So this way you get to use the shells in addition to um, the seeds inside so you get your extra fiber, all right guys? So let me tell you real quick the ingredients that you need to make this uh, roasted spiced pumpkin seed recipe, all right? Besides your pumpkin seeds, you need cinnamon, ground ginger, nutmeg, chili powder, maple syrup, and coconut oil, all right? That's it, that's all you need to make the recipe. It's all about the spices, okay? And uh, you're gonna have to preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, all right? That's step one. Let me just check on the comments real quick before we move on to this next recipe. Um, Lucci says, beautiful. Sharon says, gorgeous. I think you guys are talking about my, uh, my, my carrot bowl over here. Yes, it is very pretty. And you guys know that I love eating pretty foods. I think it makes it taste even better when it looks pretty. Marie says, yes, very much fall in a bowl. So lovely. JK Knight is here. The Cash Root is here. Jovita, what's going on? Jose Zappian, Nola Grace. Hi, tat, tat, Tattooed 311. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go back into my robots database and I'm going to click on the, uh, the next recipe so we can pull that up for us to cook along live. Um, so you're going to, if you don't have my TM6 robot, you're gonna make this recipe on your stove, okay? So first on your stove, then in your oven. First, you're gonna cook the seeds with the spices on the stove for just a couple minutes, no big deal, and then we're gonna roast the seeds in the oven, okay? After we've cooked them in the spices for a little while. And that's the trick to making these pumpkin seeds taste so amazing, all right, guys? Hi, Bugo Couture. Hi, uh, uh, Blix K. All right, guys, so if you, those of you that just tuned in, you're watching my weekly live plant-based cooking class. I do this every Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern time at facebook.com slash Cheryl.tv. We just finished making 
our uh, fall in a bowl. This is a raw spiced carrot salad. And now we are making roasted spice pumpkin seeds straight up with the pumpkin seeds from inside your Halloween pumpkins. Yes, that's right. Ooh, smelling a little bit. All right, guys, so let me pull up that recipe and I'm gonna click start cooking on my TM6 robot. And again, he says the first step is to um, preheat your oven to 325 degrees, okay? Uh, click CS Camilla says, I like pumpkin seeds. I already made, yes, you did. How, do you, how did you make your pumpkin seeds? Hi, Ayana. Hi, Ayana. Hello, sweetheart. Where are you tuning in from? Joey Rodriguez, where are you tuning in from? Hi, Kevin Irwin. What's going on? All right, guys. So before we get into the next recipe, I want to remind you to click that share button below because I do a free giveaway. That's right. I give away inspiration earrings for free every single week at every single cooking class. I pick another winner. So click that share button, uh, share it to your Facebook profile, your, your stories, your Instagram stories, to Facebook groups, food groups, vegan groups, anywhere you want. The more shares, the better. You can share all week long until next week's class and right before next week, I I uh, check out the shares and I pick a winner and then I announce the winner. So if you shared last week's class, you could be the winner of these uh, grapefruit earrings, the inspiration earrings I was wearing last week. So don't go anywhere to find out if you are the winner of my grapefruit earrings, which I will be announcing in a bit. All right, guys. So click that share button if you want to win these earrings. Okay. If you like watermelon and you want to, and you want to wear my watermelon earrings, click that share button. All right, guys. All right, so after you preheat your oven, you're going to line a baking sheet with some parchment paper. Parchment paper I love because it's so easy to, um, you don't have to worry about anything sticking to the bottom of your pan, okay? Of course you could grease your pan, but you know what? Uh, for this recipe, your, your roasted seeds are gonna come out a little bit more even. They're just gonna be easier to get on and off the pans if you use the parchment paper. So I recommend the parchment paper, all right guys? Now the next step, my robot is to saying to add two cinnamon sticks. But um, <clears throat> instead of cinnamon sticks, we're gonna be using just ground cinnamon because he's going to be doing some grinding. And to make this recipe more simplified for you guys that don't have my TM6 robot, um, I skipped anything that requires grinding. So you don't have to worry about that, all right guys? So uh, also I'm cutting this recipe in half because he is doing like 16 ounces of cinnamon seeds. I don't really think this is 16 ounces, that's a lot. 16 ounces is like a full container of this. So so depending on how many people you're serving, you might want to do uh, eight ounces, which is probably about what I'm going to be doing today. I don't know. Who knows? This might be more. I haven't, I haven't weighed it, so we'll find out. But um, yeah, so feel free. If, you're, if you have a lot of pumpkin seeds, more than eight ounces, you can double this recipe. It's really not so, so much of a big deal about exact measurements for this one either, okay? So we are going to do a, a one teaspoon of cinnamon. So grab your measuring spoons again and measure out a teaspoon of cinnamon. There we go. All right, who's excited to, uh, to put some good use to their pumpkins this season? I'm gonna be showing you a bunch of things you can do with your Halloween pumpkins, not just the seeds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a bunch of other cool recipes that I made that you guys can absolutely um, use your pumpkins for so they don't have to go to waste, all right? And these are delicious recipes that you guys will love, okay? Uh, Kevin says, I take roasted spicy pumpkin seeds and add dried papaya with it for a snack during the day. I love that. Papaya is my favorite. I need to try drying out some papaya sometime. That's actually a really good idea. And Marie says, did you give out candy for Halloween? I didn't get any trick-or-treaters. I, I, I live in a high-rise in Manhattan. We, we rarely, I don't think I've ever seen a trick-or-treater since I've lived in Manhattan in any of my buildings, to be honest. But, you know. When I was young, I got all the trick-or-treating in when I lived in the burbs. Now as a city girl, that don't happen anymore. Uh, to, all right, so now we're gonna do some ground ginger is the next spice that you need. All right, guys, so we're gonna do a teaspoon of ground ginger. All right, are you guys with me? Who's making these roasted spice pumpkin seeds with me live right now? If you aren't making it live, that's okay. I know you just need to go carve up those pumpkins. So I'm gonna sh uh, post this, uh, this live video on the site uh, either later tonight or tomorrow so you can go and watch this replay anytime. All right, guys, you can make these pumpkin seeds whenever you want. 
Clixia said, I made in the sun for several days. Now I make your recipe. Oh, perfect. Amazing. That's awesome. I'm excited. You got to send me a picture when you make it. Uh, Zaria is here. Hello, Zaria. Or Z Zacharia, if I'm pronouncing it right. Sorry, guys, for those of you that I uh, misspell your name sometimes, uh, mispronounce your names. All right, the next uh, ingredient is nutmeg. Okay, guys? So we're going to be doing about a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, okay? All right, guys, we're just adding all of these delicious spices right now. And again, if you don't have my TM6 robot, you are doing the same thing I'm doing, but uh, in a pot on your stove, okay? Right now, we're just adding the ingredients, and then, and then after all the ingredients are added, you can turn on your stove and then mix it and cook it for a couple minutes, all right? We'll get there. Next step, uh, my robot's saying to add some salt, but you guys know we're gonna do what? We're gonna skip that. That's right, we don't need salt. Uh, my robot is also saying to add some allspice. So I don't have um, allspice right now. If you want, you can throw in a little bit more cinnamon and some black pepper. You can just Google what's in allspice and just kind of figure it out that way. Or you can just skip that step because again, there's so many spices in this recipe that we don't need all of them, okay? Uh, we're gonna do a, uh, some chili powder. Yeah, some chili powder. About a quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder, all right guys? Don't worry, this recipe is super easy too. We are almost done already, which is why I saved some time for the pumpkin trivia game later. It's gonna be fun, don't go anywhere. All right, the next step, my robot is saying to add a couple um, cloves. Now, I'm not gonna put cloves in right now because again, I know that a lot of you don't have my TM6 robot yet. So uh, if we put some cloves in there, you're gonna need to grind those. So um, so we're gonna skip the, the cloves for today and I promise, tastes good both ways with or without the cloves. So if you do have an appliance that can grind, feel free to throw some cloves in there. Shacklin McCormick is here. Hello, Shacklin. How are you, love? Good to see you. Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. We just finished making a raw spiced carrot salad. That was the first recipe. It's on the vlog. It tastes amazing. Today's theme is all about spices, amazing spices. And now we are in the middle of making um, roasted spiced pumpkin seeds. All right, guys. So now my robot is saying to grind that stuff. So I'm going to skip those steps with the grinding. And second and now he's saying to add the pumpkin seeds right guys so again you can use the pumpkin seeds straight out of your pumpkin or you can use the store-bought pumpkin seeds okay but i recommended these ones why because you get more fiber by keeping the shells on and eating the shells too okay yes you can eat the shells too you absolutely can all right so we're gonna pop in our pumpkin seeds next so now you have all the spices in your pot and now you're adding your pumpkin seeds okay so after that um we click next and now we're gonna add a tablespoon of pure maple syrup sharon says if you don't have whole allspice mixed together equal parts ground nutmeg cinnamon and cloves yes thank you sharon you're always so helpful you always hook us up with the good tips in this class sharon molson is here hello molson and d card buzz is here's big timers hello big timers and rifki uh, and Josh and Steven, what's up guys? All right guys, we are doing a tablespoon of maple syrup, all right? There we go, perfect. I click next, and now we're gonna do a teaspoon of coconut oil. Now, you can buy your coconut oil refined or unrefined. If you want to have the coconut flavor, um, get unrefined but if you don't want the coconut flavor to you know to appear in your recipe because I know coconut flavors can be a little bit overpowering to recipes and sometimes ruin them which is crazy coming from me because I love coconut love 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 love, love coconut but I make sure to have both refined and unrefined coconut in my cabinets just in case I want the recipe to have the coconut flavor or if I don't and just want to be able to use the coconut oil itself okay all right so we are doing a teaspoon 
of coconut oil. And I'm just gonna eyeball that here with my knife. Okay, there we go, perfect. All right, guys, all right. I click next and now we're gonna put the top on and we're gonna cook that. So we have your spices the coconut oil, the maple syrup, and the pumpkin seeds, okay? This is what you are going to cook on your stove to get that flavor and that aroma really, really coming out there, right? And then we save the roasting for last, all right? So your oven should be preheating right now to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, so, um, so it is ready to pop on your pan as soon as we cook this, all right? So we're gonna cook this for just five minutes, all right? My Team 6 robot is stirring it for us, but if you are making this on your stove, you're gonna wanna sit there and stir it to make sure all the spices are evenly, um, you know, mixed throughout your pumpkin seeds, all right, guys? All right, let's see who else is here. Molson, where are you tuning in from? Molson, Alp, Alperenmert, Hakan, Kiray, Bama Boy, what's up, guys? Guys, we are in the in the middle of making a roasted spiced pumpkin seeds, which you can get this recipe on my blog, beginnercooking.com. Just click on easy recipes, it's right there. I always post the recipes that we're gonna be making live a few days before each class, all right guys? So um, don't go anywhere because we have our pumpkin trivia game coming up very, very soon, which I'm really excited to play with you guys. We're gonna test your pumpkin knowledge and see how much you guys actually know about pumpkins. And I'm also going to tell you, which, which is what I'm gonna do right now, is I'm gonna show you a couple different recipes that you can make with your leftover pumpkins from Halloween. Now, pumpkins are not just decoration. Sometimes people think that, oh, they're for Halloween, you carve them, but you can absolutely eat them and make amazingly delicious food with them. There are so many pumpkin recipes. I'm just gonna be sharing a few of my favorites right about now, okay? Hi, Nikki Ricky. Nikki Ricky says we love Cheryl TV. Thank you, sweetheart. Mwah, mwah. All right, hey, Scott. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna show you some of these cool recipes. All right, so I'm gonna go to my robot because he inspires a lot of them for me obviously one idea is to make pumpkin seed pesto so instead of the um uh the pine nuts which is typically used to make pesto you can use pumpkin seeds instead absolutely yes pumpkin seed recipe uh pumpkin seed pesto so that's an amazing recipe idea um he is saying to add some basil leaves some cilantro um, some pumpkin seeds, garlic, clove, cumin, lemon juice, olive oil, and black pepper. Those are the ingredients that my TM6 recommends to make the, uh, the pumpkin seed pesto. That sounds good, right? All right, the other recipe that he recommends is pumpkin muesli bars. Yes, pumpkin muesli bars. All you need to make your own pumpkin muesli bars is some muesli, some maple syrup, some uh some some pumpkin puree which you can absolutely make pumpkin puree out of your pumpkins and uh some coconut oil some coconut flakes some pumpkin seeds some vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste some pumpkin spice and uh and that's it and then you can make your own pumpkin seed muesli bars i actually use that recipe as inspiration to make my own pumpkin seed granola yeah so i was like hmm I like where you're going with that, but let's make some granola instead. So this is another idea of what you can do. Marie says you bring fun recipes and smiles. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm gonna take a quick bite of this. Mm-hmm, right? Pumpkin seed granola, really good, right? Mm. Mm, 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 so good, okay. Another idea, what you can do with your pumpkins is me obviously any kind of pumpkin soup so here's one it's maple and brown butter roasted soup okay roasted butternut soup they're saying butternut but you can obviously use any kind of squash any kind of pumpkin okay we'll get to that in a bit with the trivia but yes so maple and brown butter roasted butternut soup or pumpkin soup so all you need to make this recipe is um your squash or pumpkin of choice, some fresh onion, fresh garlic, olive oil, 
some vegan butter, some black pepper, some veggie stock, low sodium of course, some maple syrup, and some sage and pine nuts. Yes, how amazing does that sound? And I actually use that recipe as inspiration to make my own pumpkin soup with my pumpkins. I have some leftover right here. We just had the remainder of it for lunch. But what I did to make this amazing pumpkin soup is I added um, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, some sage. Uh, what else did I use? Onions. Um, if you want, you could even add some coconut cream. I didn't put coconut cream in it this time, so I wanted to lower the fat a little bit. But, um, but if you want it to be creamier, you can absolutely do that as well. But there's so many fun fall flavor combinations that you can make soups, that you can make soups with your pumpkin and your squash, okay? So absolutely, this is another great idea. But that's not it, guys. That's not it. Another idea of what you can do with your pumpkins that I also have right here that I made yesterday is a uh, kabocha sage risotto. Excuse me if I'm not pronouncing that right, but or pumpkin sage risotto, right? So I used my pumpkins to also make this delicious risotto. My team six robot makes the most amazing risotto, like easy breezy. I know that's normally a hard thing to tackle on your own, but it's not hard to tackle with this machine, yes. So again, so you can make you can make pumpkin risotto. You can make pumpkin granola. You can make pumpkin soup. You can make roasted pumpkin seeds, okay? So there's so many different combinations of what you can make with your leftover pumpkins from Halloween. That's my point, right? All right, guys, so now, ooh. Oh, you're gonna love the way this smells once you um cook these seeds with those spices on your stove for five minutes. It smells so good. You see that, guys? You see that right here? Oh, mmm. Oh, that's how you make roasted pumpkin seeds taste, taste amazing and taste like fall for sure. Clixia says, I want some. Yes. All right, guys. So uh, you're going to love this. I can't wait for you to make it, Clixia. Let me know when you do. So now what you're going to do is you're going to spread this out on your pan. Okay, guys? And then you're going to um, just make sure it's evenly spread on your pan with your spatula. Okay? And then... After you spread them on your pan, you're gonna bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now, I really want you to watch it, okay? If you're using a toaster oven, it's gonna be less minutes than that. But depending on how how crispy um, you you like your pump your roasted pumpkin seeds to be, that timing is not gonna be exact. It's really a personal preference thing, okay? So 20 to 25 minutes, I say definitely less if you're using toaster oven, but if you're using your actual oven, just keep an eye on it, okay? And um and then you have your roasted pumpkin seeds. Done, yes. So these were actually the, li the little ones that I made um, before, before I cut open my actual pumpkin to have the big seeds with the shells. Yes, all right guys. So um, as soon as we finish this live stream, I'm gonna be roasting these babies, but I'm not gonna go and do that right now because I don't wanna disappear from the camera and uh, bore you guys without me here chatting with you. So I'm going to roast those later, but here's the finished results. And uh, so enjoy your spiced carrot salad and your spiced pumpkin seeds for a yummy fall recipe this November, okay? And again, if you're looking for ideas, what to bring to your Thanksgiving parties, these are great, 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 great choices because not only are they so easy to make, they're unique, other people probably won't be bringing them, they're easy to store, they're easy to serve, and, um, and you don't have to worry about heating it up, right? You can serve both of this stuff cold, all right? So, yeah, yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, guys. So, are you guys ready for the pumpkin trivia game? Do you guys want to have some fun? Do you guys want to play this game that I planned for you guys today, huh? Huh? Tell me what's up in the chat. 
Uh, I know I'm doing a lot of talking, so I'm not leaving a lot of room for you guys to talk today, but I'm hoping the trivia game will really get the chat popping right now. That is my goal, because I love crowd participation, all right? The point of these cooking classes are to be interactive. That's why I can't wait for more of you to have my TM6 and more of you can cook along with me live, because I know it's, it's easier to cook along live with this, because when you're cooking on your stove, it can be a little bit more distracting, um, you know, which is understandable because you have to pay more attention. You have to be there mixing and blah 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 so yes marie says looks marvelous and tasty yes yes it really is i can't wait for you guys to try it hi uh, uh Myrta yaiman and omen and tx breeze what's up guys all right guys don't forget to click that share button i'm going to be announcing the winner of my inspiration earrings very very soon click the share button if you'd like to enter to win these watermelon earrings and it ends i'm going to be announcing the winner of the um of the uh, grapefruit earrings very shortly so don't go anywhere okay ricky says i'm ready for the trivia game okay let's do it all right guys this is the game that i came up with for you guys today pumpkin trivia here we go so before we start did you guys know that any hard skinned squash could actually be called a pumpkin that's right if you knew that put yes in the in the comments right now if you didn't know that put no in the comments right now okay any hard skin squash is a pumpkin yes that's right squash is a pumpkin pumpkins pumpkins a squash if you knew that put yes if you didn't know that put no okay Bree says trivia is fun jack thriller just tuned in where we just started a pumpkin trivia game perfect timing all right guys so the first question in the trivia game that was just a little opener to see who knew that pump that a pumpkin was a squash and the squash was a pumpkin now the next question is up oh, kevin said yes kevin knew jane said no jane didn't know ricky said no ricky didn't know all right guys marie says yes marie knew you knew that marie nina what's up nina all right guys so the next question is are pumpkins technically a fruit or a vegetable? Okay, comments in the chat right now if pumpkins are a fruit or vegetable. Let's see who knows their pumpkin trivia, all right? Who knows? What do you think? Is a pumpkin a fruit or is a pumpkin a vegetable? Which is it? Come on, guys, put in the comments. I'm not gonna give the answers until I see some of your comments. And again, guys, this is for fun. Don't don't worry if you you know come up with a wrong answer. That's the whole point of this, right? The whole point is to is to surprise you with cool, fun information that you might not have known. And if you did know, awesome, share it with us. All right, guys. So um, Kevin says, I'm pretty sure it's a vegetable. Jean says vegetable. And Ricky says fruit because it has seeds. All right, anyone else have an opinion? Anyone else have an opinion, guys? All right, so pumpkins are considered a fruit and it grows on a vine. That's right, pumpkins are actually considered a fruit. Marie says pumpkins are vegetables. I'm sorry, guys. Pumpkins are fruit. Yes, 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 yes. Google it. You're, I know you're all going to be Googling it after this class. Don't Google it now. Google it when we finish in like 10 minutes. Okay, the next trivia question is, what are Halloween pumpkins actually called? Okay, the pumpkins that we all know for Halloween, what are they called? What are Halloween pumpkins called, guys? Comments in the chat right now if you know what Halloween pumpkins are called, okay? And I'll give you a tip. They're not called Halloween pumpkins. There's an actual name for this type of pumpkin that we all commonly use for Halloween. Do you guys know? I don't see anyone typing any answers. Do you guys know what Halloween pumpkins are called? Marie says, well, good to know. Good to know. Come on, guys. If you don't participate, the game doesn't work. What, does anyone know what pumpkins are called? Hmm? Jack Sharon says jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> good, good one. Good guess. Good guess. I like that guess. I like that guess. So <clears throat> pumpkins, Halloween pumpkins are actual. Uh, Ricky also said jack-o'-lanterns. Marie also said jack-o'-lanterns. Clixia says $5. <laughs> Kevin says jack-o'-lanterns. Jane says jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, guys. All right. Halloween pumpkins are actually called sugar pumpkins. Yes, sugar pumpkins. I didn't even know that until recently. They're called sugar pumpkins. And I'll show you here right now. Here we go, sugar pumpkins. You see that? Right at the top, 
sugar pumpkins. There are so many different kinds of pumpkins, AKA squash, right? And, um, and the ones that we use the most commonly is called sugar pumpkins, um, all right? Because they have that classic pumpkin flavor. So there are so many different kinds of squash or pumpkin varieties, and here's just a few of them, right? There are sweet dumpling pumpkins, kabocha pumpkins, go golden hubbard pumpkins, which I think is the one that I used for these seeds. It looked crazy. I got to post a, uh, I took a picture of the pumpkin that, that, um, that I got delivered from Whole Foods. It was the craziest looking pumpkin I've ever seen before in my life, which kind of sparked my interest to figure out like, what kind of pumpkin is this is? And then that led to the next thing, the next thing. And that's why we're here doing this trivia because I learned a lot just from my own research right here. So um, yeah, so I pretty sure the pumpkin that I had looked like this golden Hubbard one right here. But then there's also the green acorn squash or pumpkin that you guys know about. This spaghetti squash, butternut squash, blue Hubbard, um, carnival, and gourd. And again, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing any of these correct, but hopefully I am. All right, guys, so there's so many, and again, this is just a small, there's actually a ton more, okay? Look, if you Google this, there's so many different kinds of pumpkin slash squash, okay? For you to choose from, for you to eat, all right? There are tons, 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 tons. Okay, next trivia question is, are all pumpkins edible? Yes or no? Put it in the comments right now. Are all pumpkins edible? Sharon says your pumpkin looked pear-shaped. It did, it did. You know, I, I thought, uh, originally I thought maybe it was a Lakota pumpkin. And then, uh, and you know, and then when I saw this, I thought it was the Hubbard pumpkin, but I'm gonna have to post a picture of it and see, see what, a, what a lot of other people think because it was probably the most interesting, coolest looking pumpkin I've ever seen. It was the brightest, brightest, brightest hot orange color. But yes, all right guys, comments in the chats. Are all pumpkins edible? Yes or no? We're running out of time, so we gotta finish this, guys. Are all pumpkins edible? Hurry up with your comments so we can finish the trivia. Are all pumpkins edible? Yes or no? Jane says no. Anyone else? Anyone else? All right, well, I got to speed this up. So Jane, uh, Sharon says all pumpkins are edible. Okay, so Sharon says yes, Jane says no, and the answer is no. Marie also says yes, Jane was right. No, not all pumpkins are edible because there is one called a gourd, okay? Or, or, or squash rather, right? Squash, pumpkin, we're, we're talking about the same thing here. Gourd is strictly ornamental. This is what it looks like right here, okay? So this is not edible. It's for decor, all right, guys? It's for decor. So that was the answer to that trivia question. The next trivia question is, what else can you substitute pumpkin for in recipes, okay? There's, is there something else you can substitute pumpkin for in, in recipes? We already know you can use squash, all those different kinds of squash, any winter squash you can substitute pumpkin for, but there's something else that you can substitute pumpkin for in recipes. What is it? If you know what it is, put it in the comments. If you don't know what it is, just say, I don't know. All right? Ricky says it depends. You make a good pumpkin pie, then it tastes good. <laughs> That was your answer to the previous question, Ricky? That's funny, that's funny. Sharon says, good questions. Jane says, whoop, whoop. That's right, Jane got that one right. Sharon, I'm glad you're liking the questions. All right, guys, so do you know what else you could use? You could substitute pumpkin for in recipes, huh? What's up, Natasha? We're almost done. We're, we're doing our pumpkin trivia game right now. All right, you can substitute pumpkin for not only any winter squash, but also, Sharon says oil. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not oil, but also sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes also work instead of pumpkin for a lot of recipes. Like if you tried to make one of these soups with sweet potatoes, if you tried to make these like, um, th these granola slash bars, pumpkin bars, if you wanna do these sweet potato bars, you absolutely can. So sweet potato is, is a nice alternative for a recipe that calls for pumpkin when you don't have pumpkins, or let's say pumpkins aren't in season. Uh, you can use sweet potatoes. Yes. Okay, guys. So now for the, for the, I think this is the last question. Yeah. The last trivia question is list any health benefits that you know of pumpkin seeds. Okay. Just list them out, list them out. Any of the health benefits that you know 
uh, list, list them out. Oh, Clixia said sweet potato. She knew the answer. You were the only one that got the answer right, Nieves. Go Nieves. Yes, yes, she knew the answer. Everyone's thumbs up and hearting her right now for guessing that hard one. Yeah, yeah. Well, Nie Nieves is a pro in the kitchen, in the kitchen, by the way. So I'm actually not even surprised you knew that. Good job, Nieves. All right, guys. So this last trivia question is list the health benefits of pumpkin seeds. Any health benefits that you know of for pumpkin seeds, put it in the chat right now. Sharon says fiber, vitamin A. Come on guys, list what health benefits you think um, pumpkin seeds have, okay? The health benefits of pumpkin seeds. Click uh, so I'm not sure what that word is. Prostera? Am I, am I not? Sharon says carotene, vitamin C. Jane says keeps your digestive system regular. Ricky says rich in vitamin A. You got you guys, you guys are giving me some good answers over here. I like that you guys know your pumpkin seed health benefits right now. Good answers, guys. All right, so I'm gonna list down some of the um some of the health benefits that I personally love about uh, pumpkin seeds, okay? Ricky says, reduces chronic diseases. Parasite removal, really, Sharon? I didn't know about that one. I didn't know about that one, but there are a ton of health benefits of pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna list off some of my faves. You guys can Google it after and see that there's just an abundant list. So that's why it's definitely awesome that we made this recipe together today because I love that you guys can learn some, um, some more ways to enjoy pumpkin seeds because they really do have so many health benefits. Okay, number one, just 100 grams of pumpkin seeds provides almost 50% of our daily protein requirement, okay? 50% of our daily protein requirement, you can get that from just 100 grams of pumpkin seeds. Next up, they are full of valuable nutrients. They're rich in antioxidants, iron, zinc, magnesium, and many other nutrients, okay? They're linked to a reduced risk of certain cancers. They improve prostate and bladder health. They can lower blood sugar levels. And like I mentioned before, they're high in fiber and even extra high in fiber if you keep the shells on from the original pumpkin seeds, okay? And what's so great about when things are in high in fiber is because um, a diet high in fiber can promote a good digestive health, which one of you guys mentioned, and reduce your risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. That's why a diet high in fiber is so important, okay? Now, here's a funny one. It may improve sperm quality. That's right, guys. That's for you guys. I know uh, a lot of time I don't, I don't uh, do a lot of stuff for the guys, but this is definitely for the guys right now. All right, and the reason why pumpkin seeds may improve sperm quality is because low zinc levels are associated with reduced sperm quality and an increased risk of uh, infertility in men. So since pumpkin seeds are a rich source of zinc, they may improve sperm quality. Yes, how about that, right? And uh, last but not least, uh, another, another health benefit I really love is that it may help improve sleep. So if you have some trouble sleeping, you might want to eat some pumpkin seeds before bed because they're a natural source of tripitophaton. Tri I don't know. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that word right there, but it's T-R-Y-P-T-O-P-H-A-N, which is an amino acid that can help promote sleep. All right, guys. So those are some of my favorite health benefits of pumpkin seeds. And uh, I'm going to be announcing the winner right now of my inspiration earrings. And that winner is drum roll please Calixius Camillo congratulations Calixius Camillo congratulations love Nieves Nieves if you're still in the chat you have won my inspiration earrings okay the grapefruit earrings I'm going to be shipping them to you just DM me your shipping address after the class and congratulations everyone say congratulations to Clixius for winning this week's inspiration earrings and don't forget to click that share button and uh and so you can enter to win the um the watermelon earrings right here all right guys so again we only have like a minute left so we made today a raw spice carrot salad recipe all right guys we made roasted spiced pumpkin seeds which where I'm about to pop in the oven all right final product right over here and we did a pumpkin seed trivia game, and I also taught you a bunch of cool things that you can do to, um, to enjoy your Halloween pumpkins so they don't go to waste, like this 
this pumpkin sage risotto or your own pumpkin seed granola or your own pumpkin soup. All right, guys. So I hope you had fun with today's class. Please click the share button, the like button, show, show us some love, keep on spreading that plant-based love. And I'll see you guys again next Sunday for another really amazing recipe. Love you guys so much. I hope everyone had a wonderful Halloween and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.